Two massive rain events called atmospheric rivers hit California recently, causing evacuations, mudslides, power outages, and widespread flooding. The rain easily broke daily records, dumping half of the average winter precipitation in just two days. The city of Los Angeles received eight and a half inches in just three days. That's the second highest amount of rain in that span in L.A. since the Weather Service began keeping records in 1877. But what about California's reservoirs? In this episode, we're going to take a look at all of the major reservoirs in California to see how water levels compare to those recorded one month ago. Have the recent atmospheric rivers replenished these reservoirs, or have dam managers released too much water? You're about to find out. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Hit me up in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. There are over 1,300 reservoirs in California. But that number includes all sizes, from large federal and state-managed reservoirs to small, local, district-managed ones. Together, these reservoirs play a critical role in providing water for irrigation, municipal use, and environmental preservation, as well as for flood control and hydroelectric power generation. In this video, I'll start with a review of the six largest reservoirs in California. These reservoirs have a storage capacity greater than 2 million acre-feet. After that, we'll see how the entire state is doing in terms of water storage capacity. And finally, we will look at the snowpack to see if there's any improvement in what so far has been a terrible start to the winter season. Okay, let's get to the reservoir report. First on our list, of course, is Lake Shasta, located in Shasta County in Northern California. One month ago, California's largest reservoir was holding 3,153,000 acre-feet of water, and the elevation was at 1,014 feet. That's 69% of the reservoir's total capacity. Today, Lake Shasta is at 83% of total capacity, holding 3,792,000 acre-feet of water at an elevation of 1,040 feet. That's an increase of 26 feet in elevation in just the past month. Lake Shasta is currently at 124% of his historical average for this time of year. Next up, we have California's second largest reservoir, Lake Oroville, located about 120 miles south of Shasta in Butte County. One month ago, Oroville had a capacity of 2,445,000 acre feet with an elevation of 821 feet. That's 69% of total capacity. Today, Lake Oroville has risen to 847 feet, a gain of 26 feet in the past month. The reservoir is at 78% of total capacity and 131% of its historical average. All of these gains are despite the fact that dam managers released approximately 62,000 acre feet of water in preparation for the in increased inflows from the atmospheric rivers. Third on the list is Trinity Lake, located about 50 miles northwest of Lake Shasta in Trinity County. One month ago, Trinity Lake contained 1,317,000 acre-feet of water at an elevation of 2,287 feet. That's 54% of the reservoir's total capacity. Today, Trinity contains 1,618,000 acre-feet at an elevation of 2,312 feet. That's an increase of 25 feet to put the reservoir at 66% of its total capacity or 101% of its historical average. Now we have New Melones Lake, located in Calaveras County in the central Sierra Nevada foothills. Last month, New Melones contained 1,984,000 acre feet at an elevation of 1,050 feet. The reservoir at that time was 83% of total capacity, which is very full for this time of year. Today, not much has changed. The Bureau of Reclamation increased releases from the dam to make way for increased inflows for the recent storms. As a result, the elevation has remained at 1,050 feet, leaving us at 82% of capacity, and that's 140% of its historical average. So although the reservoir did not gain any water in the past month, it is still doing very well. In fifth place, we have the San Luis Reservoir in Merced County, located pretty much in the middle of the state. 
One month ago, San Luis held 1,184,000 acre feet at an elevation of 470 feet. That's 58% of total capacity. In the past month, the reservoir has risen seven feet to an e elevation of 477 feet. That's 61% of its total capacity, but only 81% of the historical average. In fact, the San Luis Reservoir is the only reservoir on our list that is still below its historical average. And finally, we have the Don Pedro Reservoir, located in Tuolumne County, located about 50 miles south of the New Malonis Reservoir. Last month, Don Pedro contained 1,617,000 acre feet at an elevation of 795 feet, giving us 80% of total capacity. Since then, the reservoir has gained four feet in elevation and is currently at 82% of total capacity and 114% of its historical average. Now let's take a look at the reservoir storage capacity for the entire state of California. There are several different ways to calculate how much water is stored in the major reservoirs for use in California. Most of these include the nation's largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, which are located on the Colorado River. Although much of that water in those reservoirs will be used in California, I will not include them in this report. I just want to focus on the 154 largest reservoirs that are actually located within the state of California. Combined, the major reservoirs in California have a total storage capacity of 38,102,000 acre feet. Typically, at this time of year, they average 22,750,000 acre feet. Currently, they are holding 26,124,000 acre feet. That's 69% of total capacity and 115% of the historical average. This is terrific news for the state's water resources, and there's still over a month left in the rainy season. Now let's take a look at California's snowpack situation. The state of the snowpack today will tell us how much water will flow into the reservoirs during the spring snow melt and runoff. The snowpack accounts for a significant portion, if not the majority of water that replenishes California's reservoirs every year. Our snowpack report is divided into three sections, the Northern Trinity region, the Central Sierra region, and the Southern Sierra region. Let's start up north. One month ago, the snowpack in the Northern Sierra Trinity region was at 17% of the April 1st average. That's 40% of its historical average. Today, the snowpack has risen to 56% of the April 1st average, or 83% of the historical average. Although the snowpack is still not in a great condition, this represents an excellent improvement for what has otherwise been a very dry start to the winter season. In the central region, one month ago, the snowpack was at just 17% of the April 1st average and 38% of its historical average. Today, these numbers have risen to 51% of the April 1st average and 74% of the historical average. And in the southern region, a month ago, the snowpack was at 12% of the April 1st average and just 27% of the historical average. And today, the snowpack is at 50% of the April 1st average and 73% of its historical average. Now let's take a look at the statewide snowpack situation. A month ago, statewide, the snowpack was at 16% of the April 1st average and 37% of the historical average. Today, the total snowpack in the state of California is in a much better shape at 52% of the April 1st average and 76% of the historical average. Like I said earlier, we still have more than a month left in the winter season, so the snowpack still has plenty of time to improve. So there you have it. California's reservoirs are in much better shape than they were just one month ago, thanks to the atmospheric rivers. The snowpack, although it's not great, it is in much better condition than it was just one month ago. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please consider subscribing. I really value your support.